Hey, I'm Karen Olone Han, and I'm standing outside of my sweet little art studio in Kemblesville, Pennsylvania. Why don't you all come on in and see what I do for a living? I came to making pottery about eight years ago after having spent the bulk of my artistic life as a painter. I make very whimsical paintings in a self-taught folk art style, and I just felt like I needed a change when I uh, started making pottery. I took lessons at uh, local uh, art studios and workshops with uh, some very accomplished potters. And through the years, I have started to come into my own with my own designs. I like to use a white ceramic, a white porcelain to create my work. I'm a cat mom. We have five little fur babies. I love using the white porcelain clay for my work because it's, it's like a white canvas in which I uh, get to paint on. I also use a technique called Mishima in which I carve the uh, black lines that, that outline all of my images on my pottery and then fill them in back in with uh, black slip. Creating clay structures has been the most challenging part of my journey with ceramics. I try to construct each piece so that it is as unique and whimsical as the paintings that I put on it. You see, I have a love of bright color that comes from my childhood, I think, from my imagination, from the, the child within me that just uh, refuses to go away. Um, I am inspired by many things, Frida Kahlo, my garden, my cats, the seasons. I never seem to run out of ideas and I really kind of let the clay dictate to me the image that will go on it. Sometimes my work becomes subconscious kind of doodles. Um, little stories. A friend of mine asked me once, why do you create art so much? And I said to tell my story. And that's what I do in my art. Each piece is a little vignette of what I'm thinking and feeling or, or seeing um, in my ceramics as uh, much like in my um, painting. My painting is also very bright and whimsical and it's fun and it makes people happy and that's what I strive for in all of my work. I want people to have a piece of my pottery or have a painting of mine in their house and for it to bring them joy. I'm always humbled when someone spends their hard-earned money on my artwork.